Hey all, Tim from Rock Robotic here. I just want to provide an update on a tool that we have had for a while, but we just made a whole lot better. So this is our editing point clouds tool. So if you click on the pencil up here, you get the edit. And you can see I have this edit here, and this is what we would see for a while. Uh, one of the things we did was actually provide real-time feedback. So when you click on outside of the point cloud, you can see the points are now removed. If you activate the box, so I click out, I activate, the points are back added, but then this allows me to actually see what is happening with my point cloud and what the intended result is. Another thing that we've released is this inside outside. So as you can see, the box right now is inclusive of all the points, but if we click on outside, all the points outside the box will be removed and we're left with this little square bit. That's really helpful if you want to reduce your processing area or you just don't want to show the client the overlap of a flight, maybe your turns etc. If I open it up again, I can see them. So that's really visual and appealing with the delete, but with the classify, what we released is actually the real-time classification. So I come in here, uh, I'm going to classify everything that's been never classified to let's go low vegetation. And if I then click out of this and go into my layer tools and go into the classification mode, all right, we can see Basically, all the points that were not classified got classified. So I'm going to turn off never classified. There we go. You can see that those are now uh, the low vegetation points. So, and you can see the ground, the low vegetation. So let's turn off unclassified, high noise. Uh, yeah, it just looks so cool to be able to see what your real time edits are going to be. And we can go back to the edit tool and then go inside because that's a little heavy. So then if we did ground here, you can see that it is directly affecting those ground class points, which is really nice because this is often what we'll see is we'll see there'll be a high point or a low point, And we really want that visual feedback that only the ground was selected or only this point will be classified. Another thing that we released with this, this was a big update guys, is this advanced setting. So sometimes you'll just want to set the elevation range. So only classify points above, you know, 150 feet. And there you can see the feedback. You can see real time feedback. If you look in this area right here of the points being removed from that elevation. So only points in this range that are ground would get classified to low vegetation. All the rest would be just stay what they are which is super helpful if you say, oh, I need everything up. I know the, the lake has this elevation and I need everything above that classified ground or everything below that uh, removed from high noise or whatnot. The next thing we did was GPS time. This is really useful when you're flying because you can sometimes have refractions go off. So you'll say, actually, you know, this path was okay, but the path back needed to be cleaned up a little. So. I'm gonna trim this by GPS time and what we'll see, there we go. If we were to put this mode into GPS time, you can see here, and then we're gonna go back to our edit and start filtering this. And you'll start to see how the swaths align with that. So this would be the light blue, then we're getting into the teal, and then we're getting into the green. So this allows you to just remove points between or edit classify points just between the GPS times, which is super freaking helpful for like slam data sets, etc. So thank you all so much for your time. Uh, have a great day.